<laughs> I took the do it, eh? Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Praise you can never get, Mama. Yeah. And this is Family Heritage Living. Today I'm going to make spaghetti pie for my crew, so I thought I would. Ha of course, you know, but if I'm laughing, that means the cameraman is doing something. Um, can I see that for a second, please, cameraman? What did you do when I said spaghetti pie? Yeah. Anyways, I thought that I would have him record this because this is a favorite, especially my older guys um, and my little guys too. But Zebulon seems to like it without the crust. So. Real simple, uh, typical just your spaghetti deal. You brown your hamburger. Um, I've already got my hamburger cooked up. And my bad, I forgot to put the onions in, in the pan. I was busy doing other stuff, and I wanted to saute the onions before I threw the hamburger in, brown the onions, whatever you want to say. So what I'm going to do is i got my onions chopped up. And my pie is not going to be in the oven long enough to really get those onions cooked. They'd still be kind of, um, I, I use the word crunchy, but they're not really crunchy, and which is fine. Because, uh, you know, they're good that way. But my little ones don't like it that way. They don't want to know the onions there. So I'm going to put some of the onions in the water boiling for my noodles. And I'll lose a lot of the flavor there. But not all of it. And I'm going to put some in my hamburger that I'm going to continue to warm up. And the, with the burger, I will put the sauce in to let that simmer for a few. So they'll still cook slightly. They won't have the full robust onion flavor from browning. But it is still a good uh, compensation since the fact that I forgot to brown them. Even more guy ever can make a mistake. <laughs> Mama. What, sweetie? I'll meet you. Pay me up for spaghetti. I will in just a second. So when you make spaghetti, <laughs> when you make spaghetti, at least when I make spaghetti, I leave my noodles whole. Um, for this particular thing, though, I try to break them in about, try to do quarters, because you, you want them the smaller size for the pie. You also don't want as many noodles as you would have for your spaghetti. You want it saucier. So I make my regular pizza dough and I make it in abundance because I am making my big deep dish pan full. Make sure you butter your pan. Someone had asked me where I got this pan and honestly I apologize if you're watching because I, I haven't got to those comments yet to respond. This pan was actually gotten from a store um, down south. It's called Meyer uh, Thrifty Acres. But I think you can get these anywhere on the internet. It's just a really deep dish lasagna pan. Just like a pie, you want your sides deep because you are making a filling. And you want to be able to, you can put a crust on top, and you, or you don't have to. It's you know it's just like pies. There's open face pies, and then there's the pie that has the crust on top. And it's totally a manner of preference. All right, everything's cooked. What you're your hamburger's brown, your sauce and has been warming up, so that's all hot. Your noodles are still hot. You've got your bread crust in your pan. Um, show down here. I like to put, because of the size of dish I do, I like to put a stick of butter in and just slice it up. And then, the, no, butter. then the stuff will melt it. I'll put a, a thin layer of sauce in the bottom. Of course, I mix my sauce up with my hamburger. Now you can, if you want, you can put your noodles right into your sauce if that if that would be your druther. But for me this time around, because I'm going to have enough sauce in here, I know it's not going to be an issue to, that it's going to seep down through the noodles. I'm just going to go ahead and layer my noodles in. Um, again, just keep in mind, the object of this pie is not so that the noodles are overbearing. You want the other items in here to be more dominant than the noodles. But you still want enough noodles to make it filling. All right, so that's all I want in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little more sauce right on top. And again, you know, if you just want to put your noodles in your sauce, that's fine. I just, I wanted to have more control over the amount of noodles I get, got in here. And it seems like whenever I do something like this, my noodles end up in the sauce. Well, then I don't have any more control of my, the amount. If I get too many noodles in there, I'm out of luck and it can be drier than I want.
Okay. So now the other thing that makes this different than spaghetti is vegetables. And you can use fresh, you can use canned, you can use frozen. And my favorite vegetables for this are peas and carrots because they have a pop that other vegetables don't. And those will cook. You don't. You can thaw them if you want. It's really not necessary because these will cook quick with everything being hot and in the hot oven. They're not like the onion I was talking about earlier that takes a little bit more time to cook to kind of dissolve. And that's mainly, again, for my little ones just because they don't like it, like the texture of them. I can slide them by on them without them knowing it as long as they're they've been sauteed really well and then cooked again for a while. All right. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of sauce left and I want that in there. And you could, if you have extra noodles, which I do, um, you could go ahead and put another layer of noodles on there. I'm not going to though, because I'm gonna use my noodles for other things. And again, burger and sauce are the primary focus of this dish. that out of there. Okay, so there's that. Now for the cheese topping. I take back my oh to no noodles. You can use you can use mozzarella. We use cheddar for almost everything. That's primarily because Zebulon had a food sensitivity when he, for several years, and he could not process mozzarella very well. He had behavioral issues with foods he couldn't process. Cheddar is broken down longer than mozzarella. It ages, so some of the enzymes in it um, worked okay for him, and we just got accustomed to using cheddar for almost everything. Now, as you can see with the pie, it's really attractive, just like it is, or you can put a crust on it, which is what I'm going to do, because when I take that out of the oven, I'm gonna put a heavy do dose of butter on it, and I'll salt that crust, and if you like garlic, you can put garlic on it. So I'll put the crust on top, and it will it will be a spaghetti pie. I just, again, I'm just using my pizza crust dough. I know I call it a, a spaghetti pie, um, but I use my pizza crust. It's a pizza pie. A pizza pie and then I just pinch it together on the edges and of course it's gonna splatter and sizzle when it's bacon and that's just fine. Now with as much sauce as I have in here I do anticipate that sauce is going to come up onto the top and that will ruin the aesthetics of the dish if you're really concerned about that. So one thing that you could do um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have this cameraman back there and he's either wiping something off his chin or he's letting me know I have something on mine. I haven't quite figured it out. I, I got it in my... So, um, so if you're really worried about aesthetics, you can do a couple things here. You can put, when the pie comes out, save back a little bit of your sauce with the hamburger in it just to cover up the top of that crust and put a little more cheese on it. Or you can just put more cheese on top of that. Or you can even just put just plain sauce on top. I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. I mean, it hits the table and it's gone, you know, and it's not like we're going having company or taking it to an event. So it's not an issue for me, but for some people that really, it really bothers them. And there are all alternatives to this without ruining the flavor or the composition of the pie itself. Seriously, this thing probably weighs 15 pounds. All right. so. All I can say is when you bake it, bake it at about 350, just like you would a lasagna or any other pie. Keep an eye on it. Um, everything inside is cooked that needs to be cooked, except your vegetables for using frozen and you haven't thought of, will need to be thawed out, which it's not gonna take long. Your crust is the main primary focus here. And if your crust is brown, then your vegetables are gonna be thawed. So I'm probably looking at just leaving it in here for 40 minutes maybe. The pie is done, and then we will commence to cutting into it in a minute. Yes, a minute, Emil. So that's the spaghetti pie. Of course, the longer you let it set. And the cooler it, just like the lasagna, the longer it sits and it's able to cool, the more it will keep its form. Um, but it's not going to keep its form once you swallow it, so I really don't really care. 
As always, let us know how you like this, um, if you do something different. Uh, also, so I want to start saying, please follow us on Facebook. Um, and also, Josiah has started a blog. I will be putting his link below in the write-up. Uh, it is a Men of Valor, Men of Honor, and it is just, as it says, it's about encouraging young men and men of all ages to strive to be the most that they can be for the Lord. So we hope you enjoy it. Thanks, and God bless. Josiah, say grace, please. Lord, we thank you for the cool breeze blowing in through the windows and the rustling of the leaves as they change to gold and orange and red for the sweet smell of the woods and <laughs> for the crash of the lake early in the morning amen amen <laughs> the side of the food's getting cold amen <laughs> okay, bless this food to our bodies we thank you amen <laughs> amen i couldn't help but giggle <laughs>